Hey everybody, Ace Jenna Liam here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Form 5. Form 5 is a series where we take a look at a Pokemon with more than one form or a branched evolution or counterpart Pokemon. We have a look at the differences between the Pokemon in question and we try and work out which one is the best. And so we can see these Pokemon in action on the battlefield. We also have a metronome battle between them just for a little bit of fun. If you're already a fan of Form 5, you're ready for more. Make sure you hit that like button, show you're enjoying the series. Let's go for like a thousand likes on this video. Can we do that? We always ask for that. Can we hit it? I guess we'll try. And of course, hit subscribe if you're new so you never miss an episode and share this video with all of your friends. And as always, don't forget, use code A, save yourself some money on G Fuel. Today I have the lovely golden apple pear. Mmm. 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 Oh, it's bloody good. Just just buy it. Code Ace. But with all that out of the way, let's have a look at today's challenges. Today on Form Fight, we're going to be comparing the two forms of Morpico, which are Full Belly Mode Morpico and Hangry Mode Morpico. Now, when Morpico starts a battle, it will always be in its Full Belly form. However, at the end of each turn, Morpico will change into Hangry Mode, and at the end of the next turn, we'll switch back, and so on and so forth. But what makes these two forms of Morpico so different? Let's take a look. According to the Pokedex, both forms of Morpico are 0.3 meters tall, which is like 30 centimeters, so, you know, Get your ruler out, that's pretty short. And they weigh three kilograms, so like three bags of sugar. The Pokedex information for full belly mode Morpico says as it eats the seeds stored up in its pocket-like pouches, this Pokemon is not just satisfying its constant hunger, it's also generating electricity. It carries electrically roasted seeds with it as if they're precious treasures. No matter how much it eats, it always gets hungry again in short order. The Pokedex information for hangry mode Morpico says intense hunger drives it to extremes of violence, and the electricity in its cheek sacs has converted into a dark type energy. Hunger hormones affect its temperament. Until its hunger is appeased, it gets up to all manner of evil deeds. Appearance-wise, both forms of Morpico are small hamster-like Pokemon, with full belly mode having a mostly yellow body, with a patch of brown fur covering most of its right side, including its right ear and right arm, and a symmetrical patch of black fur on its left side, whereas hangry mode has a mostly purple body, and both its alternate fur patches are black, with angry red eyes as well. In their shiny forms, full belly mode Morpico's yellow fur turns into a very whitish pink, and Hangry Mode's purple turns into a more bluish purple. Now let's have a look at the typing, weaknesses, and resistances of these Pokemon forms. Both forms of Morpico are dual-type electric and dark Pokemon, which makes them weak to fighting, ground, bug, and fairy-type moves. They both resist flying, ghost, steel, electric, and dark-type attacks, and are completely immune to psychic-type moves. Now let's take a look at the stats and abilities of these Pokemon forms. Both forms of Morpico share the same stats and are very much glass cannons, with garbage HP, defense, and special defense, below average special attack, but with great attack and speed stats. They both can only have one ability, and they share that same ability, which is Hunger Switch, which is what switches more Pico between Full Belly Mode and Hangry Mode at the end of each turn, and vice versa. It's not much of a difference maker, since all this ability does is change more Pico's signature move Aura Wheel from an Electric-type move in Full Belly Mode to a Dark-type move in Hangry Mode, and that's literally all that happens. This ability and form change does make more Pico a fairly predictable Pokemon, but it's certainly still a fun gimmick. Now it's time for me to decide which of these two forms of Morpico I prefer, and obviously, like with Ice Q, this is very much an aesthetic choice because one form can't exist without the other. So it really is just a case of which one do you prefer the look of, and for me, it's Hangry Mode. I like that it looks like a little Pikachu mixed with a Gengar, because it's got kind of like an angry Gengar face going on. And I mean, I do like the look of Full Belly Mode as well, although it does look a little bit too much like Pikachu as far as Pikachu clones go. Like, if we did a list of the Pikachu clones and which look closest, to Pikachu, I think more Pico would definitely be up there as one of the closest after Plusle and Minon. So it doesn't look too original, but I do kind of like the look of its patches of fur and whatnot, but I just think Hangry Mode looks that little bit cooler for me, so my choice is Hangry Mode. But of course, it's not just up to me, it's up to you guys to decide which is your favourite, but before you decide, let's see these Pokemon in action on the battlefield, it's time for the Metronome Battle. So before we get started, I will point out these Pokemon have max IVs in all stats, zero EVs in all stats, they're not holding any items, they've got neutral natures, they've got the same type, the same base stats, the same ability which I found a solution for. Obviously, for the purposes of this battle, I've made sure all the Pokemon on the field have the Klutz ability, so nobody will be hunger switching between each turn and changing forms, because that would just be an absolute nightmare. So we are getting two full belly modes versus two hangry modes. That's exactly what you're after. Everything basically in this battle is all up to the metronome. Let's go. 
So here we go. It's more Pico full belly mode versus more Pico hangry mode. And as you'll notice, we don't see everyone entering the field because I've had a bit of setup to do for this battle, which involved using entrainment to get the Klutz ability onto each of the Pokemon as they change. And then obviously making sure that the Pokemon that used entrainment faint so that they can't participate in the battle. But here we go. Full belly more Pico going for Fire Lash onto the regular hangry mode right there for massive damage and a defense drop to start things off for its team. Over to Shiny Hangry to continue. What's it going to do? Going to go for Bolt Beak. My word. On which of the more Pico though? It's on the Shiny Full Belly more Pico, so it does double damage because it moved before Shiny Full Belly, but of course it is resisted with huge damage. Shiny Full Belly is going to go minimize. Doesn't want to take any more damage in this battle though, so it is going to make itself... Uh, two times more evasiveness two yeah plus two plus two evasiveness right there and then we see the regular hangry going for crush claw avoided by shiny full belly that could have been all she wrote for shiny full belly if that crush claw would have hit my word these pokemon are very offensive and not very defensive that much is clear Here's the regular Hangry going for Bullet Punch. It's avoided by Shiny Full Belly once again. That minimized paying dividends right there. What's he going to do in response? Goes for Guard Swap. Bit of a waste of a turn right there. Not a lot going on. If it would have actually Guard Swapped with the regular uh, Hangry mode, then it would have actually given itself minus one defense, which is a bad idea. Here's the regular Full Belly going for Psy Shock. Of course, uh, the Dark type more Pico are all immune to Psychic type moves. Here's Shiny Hangry going for Solar Blade. So it's going to absorb light this turn. And if it's allowed to use a move next turn, that's going to deal a lot of damage. Because, of course, Solar Blade is a physical grass-type attack. Of course, it's not super effective, but it's still going to do a lot of damage, I expect. Here's the Shiny Hangry Mode starting off the next turn with Outrage. Locking itself into Outrage for at least two turns, if not three turns. Massive damage to the regular Full Belly there. Now it's over to the Shiny Full Belly to respond. It's going to go for Play Nice, lowering the attack stat of that regular Hangry Mode there. So trying to reduce the damage that they take from that uh, Outrage. Probably better off going on the offensive and trying to take that thing out, but who am I to judge? Here's a Solar Blade, though, from the Shiny Hangry Mode onto the regular Full Belly, taking it down. Massive damage. We're over... Well, we're down to just the uh, the shiny full belly mode now who does have plus two evasion so might get lucky here's outrage from the regular hangry mode though continuing minus one attack but it's still enough to take down shiny full belly so the full belly team is gone hangry mode have succeeded they have achieved they have won this metronome battle there you go i hope you enjoyed that that was bloody short wasn't it crikey so you've heard what I've got to say, you've seen these Pokemon on the battlefield, now it's time for you to make your decision. Which of the two forms of Morpico do you prefer? Is it full belly mode or is it hangry mode? Let me know in the comments and explain to everybody why your pick is the absolute best. And that will do it for another episode of Form Fight. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. Share this video with a friend. If you'd like to support the channel like these lovely people down here do, please pledge to my Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Ace Trainer Liam. And of course, use code Ace to save money on G Fuel. But until next time, I'm Ace Trainer Liam. Keep on training.